There is no denying that the Swiss landscape fits perfectly with the image of this watch brand with 280 years of know-how, which has made nature its main source of inspiration. On the heights of La Chaux de Fonds, we discover an HQ of 2,500 square meters in perfect harmony with its environment. With its two stars, the brand invites us to dream. Welcome backstage to Jacques Edreau. The story begins in the 18th century when Pierre Jacques Edreau, a renowned watchmaker, chose to combine the art of clocks with that of automata. Before us, a songbird pendulum dating from around 1785, an object that brought together for the very first time these two skills, both ingenious, exceptional and surprising in several respects. This pendulum, here as you can see, has no visible dial, it's hidden. It's located under the pendulum. We understand that it's not made to sit on a table, but that it's made to be hung here by its hook, like a real birdcage, as it was fashionable to have in the 18th century. In the Louis XVI style, the cage offers a very successful visual effect. At the passing of the hour, or on demand, a waterfall made up of twisted glass rods offers us a moment of emotion. At the moment when the animation is going to start, the birds will turn on themselves, the waterfall will start, and we'll have music that will accompany the birds singing. Here, a second piece follows directly on from the first. It's a miniaturization to hide the songbird in a snuff box. So here, we have the key that hides in the background. And then, we're going to put our little bird up here. The song is much more natural than the previous ones, thanks to the piston whistle. an art that has survived the centuries. While in 2002, the Grande Seconde made its appearance in the watchmaking landscape, 2011 marked the integration of art workshops within the Jacques Edreau house. The following year, the first automatic bracelet watch was unveiled. The bird repeater then took off. Since then, each year, Jacques Edreau pushes its creativity even further to offer new automaton parts with incredible scenarios. While the tropical bird repeater is inspired by a tropical landscape, the latest little magic lotus automaton, for its part, is inspired by a Japanese Zen garden. Exceptional pieces that all pass through the expert hands of two watchmakers trained specifically for automatic watches and Christian Latman, CEO of the brand, never tires of admiring the mechanisms. A few meters further, we push the doors open to the art workshops. Engraving, sculpture, enameling or miniature painting, in total there are seven artists working daily on the most precious timepieces of the house. Here we are witnessing payonnage, the art of enameling, in which ornamental spangles, tiny patterns or glitter cut from gold or silver leaves are covered by the translucent fondant of the enamel. This technique is an integral part of Jacques Edreau's ancestral know-how and was brought to the level of art in the 18th century. Among the recent masterpieces by Jacques Edreau, we find this little hour minute Smalta Clara colibri. On its dial unfolds a plique à jour enamel representing two variations of hummingbirds. Only eight pieces each were made. This classic and elegant Grande Seconde chronograph monopoussoir offers us a magnificent ivory Grand Feu enamel dial. In total, each year, more than 3,000 pieces leave the Jacques Edreau workshops. 
a feat made possible thanks to the talent and expertise of its watchmakers, each capable of disassembling or reassembling from A to Z any timepiece, as here with this Grande Seconde Skelet 1 model, the most tedious to assemble because of its skeletonized dial. With its Grande Seconde, automata, art workshops, enamel dials, the curve of its cases, its exceptional mechanics, minerals and the numerous clauses synonymous with exclusivity, Jacques Hedro has codified its know-how in order to guarantee its eternal recognition.